Good morning everybody and I hope you're well. I thought I'd just do a quick video um, just to show you a couple of things that I've made um, on the cheap so to speak. Um, this little billy can, I've been after one for a while and to put it bluntly I didn't want to pay the money that um, I seem to find them for. I think I would have been looking anywhere between 10, 15, 20 pounds for a billy can. And I thought to myself, I bet I can make one a bit cheaper than that. So I had a look online and looked at some uh, um, other videos that people had done. And they seemed to be making them out of these little containers, um, tea, coffee, um, sort of caddies. Now, the only thing I struggled with was trying to find one which wasn't, um, they didn't have any plastic on at all. They either had, seemed to have a plastic lid or a plastic lip or a plastic base or one with one of those window things on so you can see what's in it. Um, so I went to my, I went on a hunt around my uh, local charity shops, and I, I sort of bought, you know, a selection of different ones. And basically, out of two, I made this. Now the nice thing with this being stainless steel, that it is durable, and in my opinion, it's probably more durable than, than aluminium. I know there's sort of um, fors and against for using aluminium uh, in cookware, but um, for me, it was all about durability. So and, um, and I made a conscious effort to try and find the uh, a stainless steel option. Um, all I did was took the uh, um, the bottom bit, and because the lid form the new one didn't fit, just hammered down that end piece like that. Now there's no sharp edges or anything like that, um, but it just means that it fits snugly and won't fall off. So. The handle is just a wire coat hanger. I've just bent that into shape and popped it in there like that. And it just folds down as you can see there. So it folds slightly underneath. So it can fit into e either one of my rocket pouches on the bag or it can be, just be stored in some other way. Now, this was it cost me probably Less than two pounds all in, one pound fifty. Effectively, two stainless steel bases and two stainless steel lids. So I've got an identical one of these as well for two pounds. So pound each. Can't uh, I can't fault that really. Um, I'm all for making things uh, for limited amounts of money. Um, sometimes it's good to obviously buy a kit that has been professionally made, tested, and all the rest of it. But I think, in my humble opinion, if you have the time to do it. Making something like this, not only is it a bit of fun, but um, you can just tell it to what you want. This is um, probably around about 10 centimetres um, by 10 centimetres, um, which is not going to cook a family stew, but what it will do is it will provide the, the ability to heat water. Um, worst case scenario, if I lose this, it's cost me a pound. If I lose one that I've paid £20 for, £20. So, you know. That's my sort of thoughts on things. Um, but anyway, I thought I'd just give you a quick uh, quick look at what I've made. And um, as I say, for £2 you can make yourself a billy can. Um, or two, effectively. Um, anyway, so thank you very much for watching. And um, until next time, bye for now.